Hello again. I'm still on my summer vacation actually, but I had a chance to finish one project. So here's a new video about that. Uh, the very first Young Link Saber I built uh, maybe a year ago or more uh, was a gift for a six year old kid. But the kit <laughs> turned out to be very, very effective in destroying switches <laughs> in the saber. And after, after repairing and modifying the original saber a few times, I, I gave up and, and decided to go for a really heavy duty solution. Uh, and namely, this new saber has a, a momentary anti vandal switch, which is pretty much the most durable switch you can use in the in the FX Saber and uh, unfortunately the original hilt uh, didn't have enough space for the AV switch and I had already modified it a few times so it was becoming full of holes anyway so uh, I, I scraped up uh, a completely new hilt from the from the leftover MHS parts I had the modular hilt system parts if, if you don't know what that means go check out the custom saber shop dot com website and you'll get a you'll get a big picture. Uh, the, uh, the major drawback in MHS uh, hilt for Youngling Saber is that it's, uh, it's quite fat. It's, it's uh, about 4 millimeters fatter in the main, main body area than the, than the uh, original Youngling Saber I built. I, I usually prefer very slim hilts but, uh, but this, this will now have to do since it was, it was easier to configure the electronics inside the MHS. Besides my lathe is, is broken so I couldn't machine a new hilt anyway. Uh, also another uh, uh, a little bit dangerous point in, in MHS, MHS hilt is that the, the pommel and the blade holder are threaded to the main body which means that the six-year-old kid uh, theoretically has an access to the, L to the saber internals and that is uh, what actually broke the last switch in the in the in the original saber so I, I think I, I need to have to I have to uh, 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 give a, give a, <laughs> a, a bigger lesson about the saber safety for the kids parents this time and nevertheless the saber is very plain the hilt is very very plain and basic design uh, and the electronics are st are the same as they were in the in the first first saber it has a white Cree uh, LED for the blade with a Roscolux color filters and uh, a Hasbro force action economy board and uh, a three triple alkaline battery holder it's actually a speaker speaker dash battery holder combo from a master replicas Yoda force FX saber it doesn't sound very good, but at least it does have a sound. You can also see the annoying blink on the startup. This Hasbro board doesn't have a, a swing effects at all, but it, it does have a clash of some kind. Well, let's hope this one lasts a little bit longer. Thanks. Bye.